Greeting, city of Merced. Merced. Central Cal, here I am. I return to you. I came here last year for the pro-life rally. I'm back again, heading up uh, after this to San Francisco. The West Coast March for Life. But I'm also an evangelist. And uh, I come in the name of the Lord with a message for those of you here who do not do not know Jesus Christ as Savior to repent and be baptized for the kingdom of heaven is near. I want to invite you to become a Christian here in Merced. So hang on for more of the good news. So uh, if you can say that, then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit here in Merced. And you are now a Christian on your way to heaven. Some of you said no, you reject this offer, you refuse to uh, become a Christian. For some reason, you think it's a joke or it just doesn't appeal to you. Well, I don't know. I mean, some say it's predestination. <clears throat> maybe you just don't have that in you, maybe. But I don't know. I, th I think uh, in some cases it's a matter of the will. You have to uh, change your will. And I hope you do so before uh, it's too late. Because if you die without knowing Jesus Christ as Savior, you will go to hell. And that means permanent separation from God. So please don't wait till it's too late. The consequences are too great. But those of you who said yes, it's your good, it's your good day. It's your happy day. It's, I was going to say your lucky day, but I'm not sure it's a matter of luck. It's a matter of choice, yeah. Uh, and so there's a few things you should start doing as a new Christian. Hold on, I'll tell you more. First thing you need to do uh, is start talking to God. We call that prayer. Talk to God. Wherever you are, wherever you go, working, walking, driving, eyes open, and also in church, eyes closed, it's all good. You're developing a relationship with Jesus. Telling them uh, your needs, concerns, fears. Also, uh, the needs of others. Praying for others. And uh, your loved ones, but also your enemies. And for those who are not yet believers, we pray for them to be found. The lost sheep to be found. Pray for everything according to God's will, not our own will. We say, Thy will be done. We don't pray selfishly. Otherwise, the prayers won't be answered, at least not the way we want them to be answered. And then uh, next, you should get a Bible, the Word of God, the Gospel, the Good News. Start reading the Bible. And remember uh, one main theme of the Bible, John 3, verse 16. God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Whoever should believe shall be saved. So you read the Bible as much as you can, get familiar with it. And then uh, third, find a good church. And I want you to find a church that affirms traditional values. Meaning uh, at least they will agree to one man, one woman marriage. And also, and also, 